Welcome to www.healthsourcechiro.com. Today's topic, a chiropractor is a doctor too. Contrary to what you may have heard, a chiropractor is a doctor too. Chiropractors are licensed professionals who are trained to diagnose and treat or refer patients for the appropriate care. Chiropractic patients often visit their chiropractor periodically to get adjustments, but some patients are referred to chiropractors for headaches, back pain, carpal tunnel syndrome, sprains, tendinitis, as well as non-musculoskeletal conditions, including asthma, digestive disorders, allergies, and other disorders. Chiropractors may specialize in sports injuries, orthopedics, neurology, nutrition, pediatrics, diagnostic imaging, or internal disorders. Your first visit to a chiropractor typically starts out like a visit to any other physician's office. You'll be required to fill out a patient history form, which will ask you to explain your problem in detail, i.e., when it happened, how it happened, how severe are the symptoms, are they constant, etc. You may also be asked about your eating habits, family history, activities, work, and or hobbies. Your vital signs may be taken and neurological and orthopedic tests may be performed depending on your symptoms and complaints. These tests are performed to determine the actual location and severity of the pain. The chiropractor may also feel the spine for any deformities, bulges, trigger points, etc. Neurological tests may be done to evaluate your motor, strength, and sensory function of major nerves. This may include cranial nerve testing to test hearing, smell, eye movement, taste, pupil dilation, facial muscles, swallowing, and others. Deep tendon reflexes are tested using the reflex hammer to test the major nerve roots in the upper and lower extremities. Muscle strength tests and dermatomal tests are done to evaluate the sensory component of the nerve and nerve roots. X-rays of the affected area might be taken. If the study is found to be inconclusive, an MRI may be taken to see the soft tissue structures, i.e. muscles, discs, nerve roots, and spinal cord. The chiropractor will compile all of your medical information, your exam and x-ray findings, and present a diagnosis and treatment plan for you. This treatment plan can include a number of spinal adjustments, several sessions of physical therapy, ice and or heat therapy, electrical muscle stimulation, home exercises, and ultrasound. After reviewing your history, the chiropractor may also suggest dietary changes and or the addition of supplements to help promote healing of your affected area. Treatment normally will last a few weeks, but can go as long as several months, depending on the severity of your problem. As your condition improves, the frequency of treatment sessions will lessen. In more severe cases, home therapy and or home traction devices may be added to your treatment regimen. It is important that you follow your doctor's recommendations in order to return your body back to its normal state sooner. Little things, such as not following dietary restrictions or skipping home exercises, can make a big difference in your healing process. Your medical doctor should be kept informed of your chiropractic treatments so they can work together for the more effective treatment plan for you. For more information on topics like this, go to www.healthsourcechiro.com.